uh, we will meet her with reverence and respect, but of course with a sense of equality, because although East Pakistan has been severed away from Pakistan, we still believe in, in the concept of so sovereign equality of states. And we are not a mosquito on the map of the subcontinent. Still we are 60 million people and with a, with a good history and with a good account of ourselves. And I have lifted the morale of the people again, uh, not by fanning hatred, I haven't done that, but by uh, going in the direction of reform and revolution. So I, I'm looking forward to our encounter, to our meeting, and I hope it will be a productive dialogue. Obviously your first priority must be to get your prisoners of war home again. You've said that, you've made that very plain. But how are you going to persuade Mrs. Gandhi that once they're home again, they're not going to push you towards confrontation once more, perhaps even to a war of revenge? No, I don't think that anyone can push me around in a hurry. And especially uh, our prisoners of wars, they're not an articulate political force as such. They might fan out. They don't need to fan out. There are enough people who are... Uh, jingoistic as it is, but uh, we can settle these sentiments if we make progress. And uh, I don't want Pakistan to get the title of a revanchist state. 